Hi guys, this is Dr. Aeronautics. Here's a quick video of our great trip to 100,000 feet. Um, this is actually a playback of me attempting to set the world altitude record. So basically I realized that reaching 100,000 feet is going to be a lot harder than I originally thought. So I figured the only way that we would be able to see this on, on YouTube without me recording a million times over and dying of exhaustion was to record each one and then when we got the successful one, go ahead and do that. So I've been trying for a long time and today on my fourth attempt, I set a record above 100,000 feet. And I was so excited when it happened that I started screaming yes like crazy. So I'm actually going to mute the microphone when we get there. Um, but I'll just basically explain what I did as I try and find it. So let me go ahead and find the start of the Zoom. Okay, so this is right before the Zoom. Uh, first of all, we had an engine modification by a little bit to... Um, allow us to travel up to Mach 2.2 uh, in spite of us not being okay usually at that temperature. Um, we're also starting at 46,400 feet which is the working number that I decided was good and here is my countdown. Three, two, one, zoom. Okay so that was me in the video and now we're zooming so what I did was I did a pitch up at 3 G's um, to approximately 60 degrees. We're just now past 50,000 feet. I'll continue giving altitude callouts as we go up. If you can't see them, 55,000 feet. So now we're at a pitch of 40 degrees and our speed is dropping very quickly. 60,000 feet. And here is 70,000 feet. And that beeping you hear is the APC kick um, going on and basically that's telling me that we're riding the uh, angle of attack indicator at the top um, looks like almost yes 90,000 feet right then um, basically what we're it's telling us that we're going too far out of the range and now if you look over the the console you'll notice there's a weird vapor effect that only started appearing at 98,000 feet which is where we are now and um, it only happened because we were going slow as we were going subsonic. Yeah! And that's me going crazy because we yes! just reached 100,000 feet. Yes! Okay, yes! so I just continue screaming yes! all the way down and there's not much to hear. But we topped out at yes! 100,315 feet and now we're it's beginning a huge and very quick descent yes! back into the atmosphere yes! with the re-entry. Um, we actually got APC kicks on the way down because um, the indicated airspeed was 43 knots going over the top of the zoom climb, which means we were very close to a spin. I don't know exactly how close we were, 80,000 feet, but um, we got a lot of APC kicks, and that's because we were basically pushing how far we could go up on our angle of attack 65,000 and now I'm starting to recover um, throttling back yeah so I tried to we're now um, less than half the height that we originally were oh yeah that's another thing is I more than doubled the height that we started out with the zoom climb with the, I think it was about 55,000 feet. feet the zoom climb was about 55,000 feet So that's it. Um, that's me recovering, and now um, <coughs> here comes the vertical velocity indicator. And uh, we have fully recovered. Right there at thirty-seven thousand feet. One hundred thousand foot zoom climb is complete. Okay, so like the earlier me said, uh, let's go ahead and check out um, later on somewhere down here where we can actually see this um, I took some videos of um, rather some pictures so let me get to that okay so when I got to a hundred thousand feet I went crazy and decided to pause the video 
Um, so you're seeing what got paused uh, while we went through. So here is a collage of various pictures yes! and videos from 100,000 It's been people. done! Yes! And there's that vapor trail effect that you can see. 100,000 feet! Yes! Happened because of our angle of attack was so darn high. Yes! 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 The engine flameout was also not simulated. There's looking straight up. I see no sky, only stars. Yeah. So this was a very exciting moment for me. So I wanted to be sure to get everything that I could. You can actually see right now um, airspeed indicator. 44 knots. Like I said, it was incredibly low. Um, speed at pitch over. <laughs> and then, of course, right in front of us is the sun. Never like we've seen it before because there are certain wavelengths, notably UV light, that are getting through. Um, because we're about halfway through the stratosphere, there's a lot more ultraviolet radiation visible. So that's looking straight down. I took a whole bunch of pictures and in flight simulator because I wanted to savor this moment and uh, I think that's the last one so I hope you guys enjoyed this flight up to a hundred thousand feet uh, it was quick and only a part but I'm so glad this has been done and now as we look at the altitude records that remain um, using the Wikipedia page here um, where we fit in we fit in right under um, Captain Joe B. Jordan's 103,000 foot record in the F-104 Starfighter uh, and um, Molosov's record in the uh, YE-66. So both of these are engine modifications. So what we might be able to do is see how much more we can tweak the engine to give us a little bit more speed without ruining the engine due to high compressor inlet temperatures so we might be able we should be able to get this one here um, I don't know if we'll be able to get that one that one is like really difficult I don't know if we can get Mach 2 point get past Mach 2.5 for that one um, now then there's two more records and then those are by Robert W. Snip Smith in the uh, another F-104 Starfighter, um, but this one had a rocket attached. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's basically saying, okay, our engine shut down, but we're going to keep going from here. Uh, and then, of course, um, A. Fedotov's, the number one record in the YE-266 at 123,000 feet. Um, we cannot overcome this without a rocket. Uh, it's out of our ballistic flight path. If 100% of our kinetic energy was suddenly converted to potential, with zero energy loss, we still could not reach this altitude. Um, but using a rocket, I hope to um, first make the engine modifications and take these records, and then maybe if we can stick a rocket on the back that's powerful enough we might be able to get this one and eventually this record to become the highest, well, the highest turbojet plus rocket. Um, of course, Fedotov will still get his jet plane record because as soon as we add a rocket, we're no longer a jet plane. Okay, so um, that's what we hope to do. And um, we got a lot of work cut out for us in Norsden land. So, um, look very soon for the next flight in which we go to um, the Space Center, or what will become the Space Center, to do some, some more builds, uh, including another plane, the B-1 Lancer. So, uh, this has been Dr. Aeronautics, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.